This is Photoshop from the ground up. I'm Peter Law, photographer and graphic designer. I'll be your host for this course. The aim of this course is to teach you about Photoshop. A lot of the online training that's available out there assumes that you have a certain knowledge already of the program. My goal in this course is to teach you the things that you need to know to bridge the gap between uh, a non-user of Photoshop and somebody who can be a self-teacher, somebody who can view online tutorials and stuff like that and to make sense of them all. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. I'm operating on the Mac operating system here. Photoshop works both on the Mac and the PC, um, but in this case, uh, my interface looks a little bit different, but for the most part, the programs behave pretty much identically on the two of them. So I'm gonna start my Photoshop right here. It's in my dock, or you can start it from your program menu in, in the start in Windows. So this is Photoshop. Now, what do all of these things mean? This area over here is called the toolbox. The toolbox is where the tools live. It's deceptive sometimes because it looks like these are all just, this is the number of tools we've got. But a lot of these tools have little um, arrows in the bottom corner of them. And if you click on them and hold, you'll notice that there are actually more than one tool in most of these tool locations. Now your toolbox may, lo may look a little different than this. If I click right here on this little arrow, it becomes a two column layout instead of a one column layout. So you have this option, and if you're using an older version, older than CS3, then it will automatically just be a two column. And over here, we have panels. Now there's different types of panels here. I'm gonna click on this right here, and this is gonna bring up, uh, these are basically uh, expanded panels, and these are iconic panels. So right now I've got a whole bunch of panels, and I can actually click on this right here, and I'm going to go to Essentials. That's going to be the default workspace that Photoshop comes in. So I've got two rows of panels, and I can click to expand and contract, click to expand and contract, and I can also drag out these iconic ones. I can actually drag out so that the name of the panel is also there. Now, panels are used for presenting information, sometimes for interacting with your document. They really can do a whole lot of different things. And Photoshop comes with this workspace picker right here that allows you to select different workspaces that are designed for different tasks and to allow you to customize things yourself. So I'm going to go back to the Essentials workspace. And this right here is my clone source stand, uh, panel. So if I decide I don't want this, I can just drag this off and close it. And if I decide, you know what, I want one row of panels, I could just grab, say, brush tools, presets, and I could drag this down here, and there's a little blue bar that appears right there, and that means it's docked with it. And I'm going to grab this one and put it, I can put the blue bar between, which means it's a separate panel group, or I can bring it up a little bit until the blue bar appears right here, and now they're grouped together. So if I expand the panels, those two tabs will live in the same spot. If I want to close down tabs, I can actually just double click on the dark bar and that frees up some more screen real estate for other areas. I can click right here, hover my cursor over and I can actually resize panels here. So that's how those work. Now, up here at the top, we've got this area right here. This is called the application bar. So from the application bar, I can well, obviously, I can quit minimize and restore my images or my window. I've got this launch bridge. Now, bridge is a, a bundled file browser that comes with Photoshop. Mini bridge, which allows me to basically interface with that while I'm inside of Photoshop instead of using the another uh, application. And then my extras. And this is guides and rulers and stuff like that, which we'll get to later. And screen view. This allows me to arrange documents in different places. Uh, if I have more than one document open. And this is my screen mode, which allows me to um, change screen modes, which will make a lot more sense when we have documents open. This right here, this area here is called the options bar. So the options bar allows you to specify options for the current tool you have selected. So you'll notice that as I change tools, the option bar changes. So these are always related to whichever tool you have chosen. And whenever we have a document open, if you right click on your mouse or if you have a one bu button Mac mouse, you can control click. 
and you'll get a contextual menu. Now I can't do that right now because I don't have a document open. And in each one of these panels, there's a little thing right here and you can click on that and that's called a panel menu or sometimes called a flyaway menu. So that's how the interface works in Photoshop CS5.